Hey guys, what's up? Mike Heard 360. And I'm out here at my hunting property. Season's over. Ended uh, actually January 1st here in South Carolina. But don't put your trail cameras up yet. There's plenty of stuff to do with them. Uh, turkey season's coming. Uh, you may want to do a, a survey of your bucks and see what which ones made it. And then uh, there's also the fun cam and stuff that i like to do that uh and, and a bunch of other people that are way better than me at it uh pat howard's one of them he's a shout out to pat he's a he's definitely been an inspiration for me with uh all of my sets but you can man you can find you a log crossing a creek you can find some rocks you can find a den of a of an animal um lots of things out there you can do to cam I'm setting up right now for some turkeys. Fly out tomorrow to the ATA show. Be there till Friday. Uh, gonna, I'm really excited about that. I'm going to get to see a bunch of people in the industry. Um, but I wanted to hurry up and, and start getting some turkey pictures. So I'm going to turn this camera around. This is a food plot. It's uh, food. It looks pretty crappy. You can see the deer have got a, all the grains mowed down pretty good. Um, and what I'm doing here, i got three cameras. So there's a black gate right there. And it's going to be kind of pointed off that direction uh, and then I've got a couple reveals I brought one out of retirement this one right here this unicorn in the in the trail cam business that everybody keeps just saying is best trail camera tactic cams ever made I we'll see I don't I don't know that I believe that I think I think if you uh, I think if Tacticam quit making the X-Pro and the Gen 2 next year and made something else, which I don't think they are, I think these are going to go into 2023, but if they did, I believe there'd be a whole bunch of people posting all next year. Man, I don't know why they discontinued those cameras. Those are the best ones they ever made. So we'll see. I brought this one out of retirement. I had retired it, so we'll see what... Uh, we'll see what she's made of compared to that X-Pro right there beside it. Uh, of course, you got the external power and a little tip with these with these reveals. Uh, all your cameras, the the external plugs gonna go in the bottom. Uh, the reveal makes it a little easier because they got a battery tray, and that battery tray. Let's see if I can get it. Well, there's one right there. It's out. So that battery tray, that's where your external goes in. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says 12 volts, 12 V DC. Uh, but it makes it easy because you just plug it in like this instead of trying to fumble around and find that little hole on the bottom you just take it and slide it in there like that boom there she is and she got power so see my cables i like to wrap them around those slate river mounts uh, i just don't even use straps anymore and i'll wrap it around that mount before i go into the camera and it kind of helps some and this one here i gotta tighten up some of y'all are probably gonna notice that little cap right there and wonder what's up with that that's just a cable for a ghost camera i just didn't have a spare one uh, this camera right here takes a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter DC plug, which that's the same plug that the Ghost and the Spartan Go Live ones take. Um, I just slid the cap out of the way and pushed it on up in there. And away we go. And it does work. Well, let's take these out because they've been in there forever anyway. Them things have been in there since probably about ready to start leaking they've been in there since last year when i was testing the camera initially to see what battery life was like all right i can't get them out i'll get them out in a second but there you go it's working and it's on it's on 12 volts as you can see it's still still working guys well I gotta get back to work I need to get all this stuff leveled up and get them aimed right they're not even aimed right but uh, 
I hope y'all looking for turkeys. I hope y'all are camming wildlife this season, out of, out of deer season, and just having fun being in the outdoors and playing with your trail cameras. Mike at Herd360, y'all go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I hope y'all have a great week. Bye.